Dear fellow students, dear non-students, <laughs> opening an academic year is easy. However, closing an academic year is much more difficult. A critical vision is needed to be able to efficiently evaluate the past academic years. This is a vision taught at Group T, at the students, on a regular basis, starting from day one. A vision present in every student here at Group T, and evidently in the student council. We notice, however, to our great concern that visions sometimes get clouded and that the focus on what is really important is sometimes fading away. I would like to invite you today in my train of thoughts. My time here at Group T has come to its fourth year and the first three years have been great. The school clearly has its own character and uh, the beauty of Group T is its open and clear philosophy that lies behind every course, at least that is the intention. A student who has struggled to his first year or phase is fully aware of what he is learning and knows what it will provide for him in a, later on in his life, both professionally and personally. Or to put this in reference to the team of today, um, Group T delivers conscious students. During the past uh, couple of years, a bunch of new and complicated challenges have risen for Group T. Uh, some of these challenges are the credit accumulation system, or diploma rente, for uh, Dutch speaking people, um, or the shortage of internship places uh, for the teaching department. Another example is the ever so much rising of the enrollment numbers and in a building that seems to be shrinking. <laughs> these matters still require the constant attention of the staff of OT to ensure that the student does not suffer, suffer from them. Thank you for that. However, the biggest challenge of them all is still being able to see the wood for the trees. This, of course, in combination with maintaining the fundamental and typical Grouti philosophy, which gives our diploma its added value. Students here sign up at Grouti because of the solar car, because of the advertising campaigns, or because of the beautiful building here. But students stay here not because they are interested in an extra hard or an extra easy uh, education, but because they are interested in the best education. These students are the reason why this is the biggest challenge, and why it requires the full support and cooperation of everybody at Group D. Our management, our administration, our teaching staff, and most of all, our students. Everybody at Group D. Going from the EIT crowd at Module 14 to the basement at uh, Campus Comenius. Yet we see, despite the fact that this philosophy runs deeply through our veins, that this cooperation between the various levels doesn't always run as smooth as it should be. In some cases, it doesn't seem to run at all. It, is it not so that team dynamics, the course where students learn to function as one group, as one team, is taught as one of the very first courses here at Group T? Is it not so that communication is considered to be one of the fundamental concepts at Group T. And is it not so that one of the five E's, environmenting, where the teachers to always put things in perspective, look at the bigger picture, is currently being ignored here? It almost seems ridiculous to declare this academic year to be open, but the people providing the right education sometimes seem to forget to abide by their own rules. This is not how we learned it, this is not how we wish to see it, and it's not how we want to move on in the future. That is why we, the students, and both in particular the Student Council, wish to offer our complete cooperation in this daunting task. Or to put it in short, we, the students, the reason why this institution is here in the first place, are worried. Worried about the quality of our lectures, the quality of our uh, lab sessions, our exercises and our seminars. Or, in other words, that might sound familiar to some, the students are the customers, and the customers want value for their money. The students and the clanten, and the clanten will wagen geld. Right.